Uh, hello, thank you for joining my presentation. My name is Linti, a doctoral student majoring in computational sciences in Marquette University, and also a member of UBCAM Lab. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the research on dynamic reconstruction of remote photoplasmography. And the outline of the presentations are introduction related works, RPG extraction method, and chaotic dynamic analysis of the PG and RPG results and conclusions. Uh, for some background, uh, cardiovascular disease is one of the most prevalent diseases for adults over 20 years old in the United States. Uh, Photoplasmography based medical devices are widely used for cardiovascular health monitoring in clinical settings. Uh, PTG is a typical non-invasive method that measures subtle changes in the light reflection from human skin due to blood volume variations through the cardiovascular pulse cycle. Uh, however, professional PG measurement devices are expensive and uncomfortable to use. In recent years, several algorithms have been developed to achieve heart rate and heart rate variability results similar to professional devices through remote PG, uh, which uses a camera to collect a video of the region of the skin from a distance instead of using near infrared light for PG recording. The RPG signals could be extracted from the video recordings and provide similar health monitoring results to PG signals. Uh, there are many works about nonlinear analysis of the PEG signals to improve the detection accuracy and discover underlying characteristics of PEG signals. PEG signals collected from health young human subjects is consistent with the definition of a health movement, and the method of face based reconstruction has been applied to PEG signals and shows PEG can provide an earlier warning of the deterioration based on PEG signal because it provides a similar trend for parameter steroid from the arterial blood pressure. There are also studies on PG signals collected not from near the infrared light. The experiment result shows PGs collected under the red or green light is also chaotic. In addition to PG nonlinear signal processing techniques also apply to RPG. This is possible to use phase-based reconstruction on the RPG signals collected from the skin of the wrist. The interpolated and filtered signals can be considered as noise contaminated determinist based signals. However, the previous studies are based on PPG signals, which has a high sampling rate, mostly over 200 Hz, or the RPG is collected in the area with little noise and motion. There has been little work on RPG chaotic analysis based on the video collected from the face, which has a lower sampling rate of 30 Hz and a large noise due to the distance and the motion of the body. In this research, we present an analysis of the chaotic dynamics of RPG collected from human face videos. The main contributions of the paper is as follows. First, we compare the chaotic dynamics for different PPG and RPG signals. Uh, second, we use a face face reconstruction method to discover the underlying characteristics of RPG. Uh, finally, we showed introducing the features directly from the reconstructed face face can improve the accuracy of HRA detection. Uh, some related works. Uh, PG signals can be collected from fingertips positioned on a smartphone camera. However, this method still requires the subject to stay in a fixed position, uh, which has the same disadvantage as the traditional methods. Popers posed a new non-contact method, which is known as remote PVG. The method uses the front face of the phone camera to extract the PG signals, and the heart experiments has the RMSE less than 5 BPM. Uh, the hand at all extends the work by using Chrome for RPG extraction. This method is further implemented by Huang et al., uh, which provides an algorithm with improvement in the detection accuracy for heart rate and heart rate variability for low resolution videos. Uh, Wang et al. approved the plain orthogonal skin tone can generate better quality signal. The major algorithm developed through the years on RPG signal extraction include blind signal separation. Independent component analysis, chrominance, blood volume pulse signature, spatial subspace rotation, plain orthogonal to skin tone. Uh, this is our PG extraction method, which contains multiple algorithms. Uh, first, the region of the interest is first selected by the face detection algorithm using wireless joints detection and the KLT for motion tracking. After the face detection algorithm locates the position of the face in the rectangular body box, the skin detection algorithm is applied to the interest to select the skin pixels in the YCR-CD color space. 
After skin pixels are selected from the region of interest, the mean value of the RGB channels of each frame is calculated to form a series of raw signals of RGB channel. Then amplitude selective filtering is used to eliminate the noise distortion from the signals. The plane outside of the skin tone mask is used to extract the pulse signals from the RGB signals. After the pulse signal is extracted, post processing steps are used for denoising because the signal is sampled at 30 Hz. Uh, interpolation to 240 Hz is needed to smooth the signal. There are many approaches for post processing the RPG signal. The most widely used is band path filtering, which is to select only the magnitude of the signal within the pulse rate range from 0.75 Hz to 4 Hz and use inverse wave transformation to reconstitute the signal. Uh, we devised an algorithm compared the performance on the public available dataset UBFC RPPG. Uh, so the subject phases are recorded using a webcam at 30 fps and at a resolution of 480p. The video file is an AVI file in the uncompressed 8 digit uh, format. The ground truth PPG signal wave was recorded using the CMS 50E transmissive pulse oximeter and it is a popular dataset used for validation of different RPG approaches. Um, based on the data provided by the UBIC RPG dataset, we got four signals from the four phase space reconstruction. The ground truth PPG signal is not uniformly sampled. To apply the approach, we interpolate the ground truth signal to 240 Hz by linear spline. And this signal is named as PPG 240 Hz. The RPG signal is extracted from the radio files in the original frequency of 30 Hz and interpolated to 240 Hz. And these two signals are called RPG 30 Hz and RPG 240 Hz. Then the signal is bandpass filtered by the continuous wave transformation. And this signal is named as RPG filtered. Uh, some background knowledge on phase space reconstruction. A uh, uniformly sampled time series signal with a single variable x can be reconstructed in a phase space which has m dimension. If the embedding method uses a time like tau, the delayed reconstruction has coordinates as r. And the time delay tau can be estimated by finding the first minimum value of the average mutual information. And the embedding dimension m can be estimated using the false nearest neighbor algorithm. Uh, for dimension m, the points and the nearest points are false neighbors if the following formula is satisfied. And this is estimation of the time delay for the four signals. The estimated time delay for RPG 30 Hz is centered at 3, and the estimated time delay for PG 240 Hz and RPG filtered is mostly at 10, and the RPG 240 Hz is centered at 5. It shows after the filtering step, the estimated time delay changes from 5 to 10. The bandpass filtering for RPG signal is required to keep the time delay similar to the PG signal after interpolation. And this is the estimated embedding dimension M for four signals. The embedding dimension for all signals is either 3 or 4. And PPG 240Hz, RPG 30Hz, and RPG 240Hz have the majority of the signal from 42 subjects at embedding dimension 4. After bandpass filtering by continuous wave transformation, the RPG filter has a majority embedding dimension 3. It shows the post-processing signal by bandpass filtering reduces the complexity of the signal. As shown in this figure, the phase space reconstruction result is based on the four signals collected and uh, extracted from the subject number 10. And the embedding dimension is 3 for data visualization purposes. The time delay 10 for RPG 240Hz and RPG filtered, and 3 for RPG 30Hz and 5 for RPG 240Hz. The example shows there are similarities between the RPG 240Hz and RPG filtered signal. A chaotic system is sensitive to initial conditions. The chaotic level can be quantified by the Lyapunov comp exponent, uh, which is used to characterize the uh, trajectories in the phase space to measure the rate of divergence and the neighboring trajectories. 
Any chaotic system must have at least one positive Lyapunov exponent, so the largest Lyapunov exponent can be used to determine whether a system is chaotic. The algorithm for computing LLE mainly follows the approach uh, Rosenthal et al. And the LLE of all signals is positive, indicating the VG and the RVG signals are consistent with the definition of a chaotic dynamic system. The correlation dimension is usually refer to a, a type of fraction dimension which measures the dimension of the space occupied by random points. It can be used to separate the coils from random noise. The correlation dimension is a slope of CR versus R, where R is a radius similarity and CR is given by the formula below. And this is a estimated correlation dimension for the four signals. The average value for correlation dimension is 2.5 for ground truth PVG 240 hertz signal. The correlation dimensions are 4.1 and 3.2 for RPG 30 hertz and RPG 240 hertz. In general, RPG contains more noise from its illumination and the motion of the subject than PVG signals. Thus, the correlation dimension should be higher. The result RPG 240 Hz has less correlation dimensions than RPG 30 Hz, also indicates the interpolation process reduces the correlation dimension. RPG filtered has an average correlation dimension value of 2.9, uh, which is less than the unfiltered signal. It means the filtering process significantly reduces the noise in the RPG signals. The reduce in the correlation dimension also means the filtered RPG signal is more close to the ground truth signal. The unpredictability of the time series data can be quantified by approximate entropy. A higher value of the approximate entropy indicates a higher irregularity and more fluctuations in the uniformly sampled time series data. Uh, if more repetitive patterns of the signal is observed, the signal is more predictable and thus have a smaller value of approximate entropy. The complexity level can be quantified by the approximate entropy derived from the time series. And this is the estimated approximate entropy for the four signals. Uh, there are some observations. The average value for approximate entropy is 0. Uh, for nine, for ground truth PG 240 hertz. The correlation dimensions are 0 0.23 and 1.01 for the RPG 30 hertz and RPG 240 hertz respectively. And the result that RPG 240 hertz has higher approximate entropy than RPG 30 hertz indicates the interpolation process increases approximate entropy and introduce more complexity into the signal. And RPG filtered has an average correlation dimension value of 0 0.69 uh, which is less than the unfiltered signal. It means the filter process will significantly reduce the complexity of the signal. It also means the filtered RPG signal is more close to the ground truth signal. And the signal properties derived from the reconstructed phase space include uh, Lyapunov component, correlation, dimension, and approximate entropy. These properties can be used to improve the current HRV detection method accuracy based on the RPG as an addition feature for a regression method. After the RPG signal is derived from the face video, interpolated and bandpass filtered, the signal is reconstructed by inverse CWT, and the peak detection algorithm is used to detect peaks of the signal. And R interval is defined as time interval of the consequent peaks. And we use the HRV time domain definitions SDRR, and SDR is defined as standard deviation of all the R intervals, which is defined as the formula below. And as shown in the two figure, uh, the HRV result derived from the ground truth signal and the RPG filtered is uh, from uh, the left figure and the right figure. And the left has RMSE 13.72, uh, and we can improve the accuracy by building a regression model using the four features, including the HRV detection results derived from the RPG, the exponent, correlation dimension, and approximate atrophy. And the HRV result derived from the regression model has a lower RMSE, indicating a better accuracy. 
And conclusion, the plenty result shows uh, strong evidence that RPG is considered as determinist chaotic after interplay and band of past filtering. And additionally, uh, we discovered the best embedding dimension for the RPG signal is between 3 to 4, and the time delay is 10 for a 240 hertz RPG signal. The phase space reconstruction shows bandpass filtering is required to preserve the topological similarities of the RPG signal and the PG signals. The interpretation process will increase the complexity level and reduce the correlation dimension of the RPG. The bandpass filtering process will reduce the complexity level and correlation dimension of the RPG. Including the features such as the exponent, correlation dimension, and approximate entropy could reduce the RMSE of uh, HRV detection. This result provides some insight into the feasibility of the RPG signal for cardiovascular state monitoring. Nonlinear approaches may become potential method used to evaluate the quality of different RPG extraction algorithms. The application of a nonlinear signal method may also contribute to the further studies of human mental and physiological health detection. Uh, thank you, and please reach out to me if you have any questions.